and welcome to Getting Artsy with Nicole Rich. I am Nicole and I am going to be showing you all really cool painting tutorials and these are beginner friendly so that you all can build confidence, so that you all can have fun, and so that you all can be creative. And so I'm going to be showing you all how to do this really cool painting of this guitar. So if you are wanting to join me today, you want to jam out, and you are in the rock and roll and in the music in general this is the painting for you and I'm going to be showing you all step by step on how to do it so let's go ahead and get started okay before we get started with this painting we're going to need a couple of supplies in order for us to get started so what I have is I have this 8 by 10 canvas so you don't need to have a canvas in order to do this project. You can use a piece of wood, you can use poster board, you can use paper, whatever you have. So know that with my tutorials, you do not have to have a canvas. But if you have it, this is what I'm using, okay? And if you are using a canvas, you don't have to have an eight by 10 canvas. You can have a 16 by 20 canvas. You can have an eight by eight canvas. However big or wide or small you would like it, use that. And when, in order for us to do this painting, you can either have it vertical, so long ways, just like this, or you can have it turn horizontally, just like this. So it does not matter how you want to have your painting. Remember, I want you all to be creative. This is up to you, solely up to you, how you want to create your artwork. So the brushes that you will need today, you will need a wide brush, just like this. You will need a filbert brush, just like this, just a little bit smaller. And then you will also need a detailer or a liner brush, just like this for your small details, okay? Now, if you want to do this as a painting, you can. But if you don't have painting supplies, that's completely fine as well. You can use drawing supplies in order to do this. So I would recommend, like, if you wanted to just draw on paper you can use crayons oil pastels so that you can blend your colors very easily um, if you have markers I mean you can do that as well it does not matter which supplies you use the most important thing about this is that you are just creating okay so don't let not having some of these supplies hold you back use whatever that you have okay and lastly we're gonna go for colors to start off with we're gonna first start off with our background, okay? So we're just gonna paint our whole entire background um, a couple of colors. So what I'm gonna use is a teal blue, so you can kind of see it right here. I'm also using a just a primary color blue right here, ultramarine blue. Um, I'm not, I didn't mix anything to get this color, and I'm using white. And like I said before, you don't have to use these colors. You can use red for your background. You can use orange, whatever color that suits you, your house, if you wanna have it hanging up in your house somewhere, whatever suits your decorations, whatever suits your personality, use those in order to uh, create your painting today, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with the actual painting part now. Okay, first we're gonna start off by getting some teal blue on our brush. So we're just going to start off with a generous amount of teal blue. So I'm going to just paint up and down in a vertical motion. And remember if you have your painting horizontally, you can just paint like this in a horizontal motion, okay? And if you are drawing, you can go ahead and start coloring in your background if you like. Now this doesn't have to be completely covered up in blue. That is completely fine. But we are just gonna add just a simple base color, base coat of blue, okay? So after I have a generous amount of blue on my painting, I want to go ahead and paint the edges so right here so 
I like to do this toward the beginning. Now I know some people, they like to match their edges with their painting. So let's say if you were painting like mountains, then you might have mountains coming off the edges right here. I'm just that type of person that I'm not really concerned about the edges too much. Like I said, I'm not trying to hang this up in a museum. I'm just trying to have fun with this, okay? So I'm just gonna paint the edges the same color. But you do want this to look nice. Don't make it look sloppy, okay? Because we do, we would like this to look kind of nice, okay? We want it to look presentable, especially if you're hanging it up in your home. One more side left okay and remember if you run out of paint go and grab some more but don't grab too much because you don't need too much more of this blue if you need to go ahead and grab some more paint I just squirted a little bit because a little can go a long way there we go So now I'm gonna go in with this primary color blue. A little bit too much. Just get a little bit on there. And then I'm going to paint in the same vertical swoops, vertical motions, just like this. And I'm gonna get those white areas painted. I want this painting to look like it has a lot of texture of colors. Like I just did this super effortlessly, which I am. But we just want it to look really cool, very grungy looking, which is kind of perfect. It goes along with this lesson today. I love listening to grunge music. If you are a 90s kid or, or around the 90s, then you know what grunge music is. I don't know if kids nowadays know what grunge music is. By the way, let me know what kind of music do you like to listen to while you're making art? I love listening to 90s music, especially anything from the 80s, 90s, early 2000s. I think I stopped after 2010 though because that's when at least in my opinion, music just started getting weird to me. <laughs> but to each his own. We all have our own music preferences. But I like to listen to all different types of genres of music. So now I'm going to go in with the white. Just get a tad bit of white. And then I'm just going to add some more texture. Add some more colors. Let's use some art vocabulary. We're going to use a variety of colors for our painting. And I'm just putting it wherever I want it to be at. Just like this. I wish I could play some music right now because I would totally be jamming out right now. I just don't know how social media feels about me sharing my jams right now. But if I were to play music right now, I would probably be, like I said, listening to 80s, 90s, or early 2000s. I even love music from the 60s. Like my parents are old school, so they love music from that time frame and I absolutely love it too. Okay, so here we have our background. It is now completed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a fan. I actually have a box fan and I'm going to let this dry so I can actually come back to this as quick as possible, as soon as possible. If you don't have a box fan like I do, you can use a hair dryer. I've seen people do that. Since it's a nice day it's outside, at least for me, I can take this outside and let this dry. Or if you want to, especially if you want to get some exercise, you can fan out your painting if you want to. So it's all up to you. Or if you are in a chill mood, you just want to sit back and relax, maybe watch a TV show and come back to your painting. 
it is up to you and that's the one cool thing about that I like about doing online classes you can do however you want to do so if you want to go and watch a TV show you can do that if you want to spend some time with your family or friends you can do that as well if you want to grab a snack dance it out whatever you want to do you can do that so I'll be back in a few minutes and we are going to actually start on the guitar part of this painting so I'll meet you back in just a second hey everyone so I am back and I finally got time to let this dry and I hope you all actually had some time to relax or got in some exercise if you decided to fan out your painting so what we're gonna do next we are going to use a smaller brush such as this filbert brush right here and we are going to use this in order to create the guitar so for the colors I'm going to use for the guitar I'm going to be blending colors I'm going to be blending warm colors such as yellow orange and red okay so the key tip is or a little pro tip for you all is to start off with your lightest color whenever you are adding in your details because if you mess up you can always paint over it okay especially if you are blending colors always start off with your brightest color so that if you make a mistake you can always fix it so I want to start off with just a tad bit of yellow and I'm going to lightly paint the shape of the guitar okay so remember I want you all to use your imagination uh, when you all do this you can have your guitar however you want it to be I want you all to think about either creating an acoustic guitar or an electric guitar okay and so I'm going to paint an acoustic guitar because that was the example that I showed you all but if you want to make an electric guitar um, if you need help with that always look up on Google Pinterest they're your friends and practice out on a piece of paper first if you feel comfortable with that and draw out how you want it to look okay so going ahead with the guitar I'm gonna start off with the top part of it first and I want to make sure that I have enough room for the fret of my guitar okay so the neck actually my guitar so probably right around this area I'm going to make my lines and notice I'm lightly lightly painting okay because if I make a mistake I can always go back over it okay and that's the fun thing about painting is that if you make a mistake oh well let it dry and then fix it okay now I want you all to know one thing I forgot to mention was whenever I was painting the background, I did not clean out my brush. But you want to come in with a brand new clean brush, especially when you are using smaller details. And you want to clean your brush out every single time unless you are intentionally blending colors and that's fine. So almost finished. So think about I'm drawing a little curvy line right here and I'm slowly doing this so that I don't make a mistake because I don't want to go in super duper fast and do this. So remember if you ever read The Taurus and the Hare, slow and steady wins the race. And then if I need to go back and fix in any of the shapes then I can do that as well. But for the most part, I like the shape. I might go back in and add a little bit. Let's see. It looks like my curve is off just a tad bit. I want to make it a little bit curvy. Right here. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's good enough for you. does not have to be perfect at all as long as it's good enough for you okay 
so here we have the shape of the guitar so now I'm gonna go in with the um, actually I might go in with ooh, you know what let's go in with yellow first and then we will blend the rest later so I want to go in with yellow first I can use a generous amount of yellow and I'm gonna go in and just paint the guitar so it will turn out looking green a little bit because what happens when we mix blue and yellow together we get green but we are going to lighten up the color a lot because we are going to use white white will make your painting look opaque so whenever I'm painting I want to paint the motion or with the same lines of the guitar so see how it's curvy right here I'm just going to paint that same brush stroke that's what I'm trying to say let's not make it complicated <laughs> So, I'm just going to keep on painting. So, while I was letting everything dry, I'm actually just watching TV right now. I've been catching up on the shows on Hulu. Right now, my favorite show to watch, and I'm on the bandwagon right now, is This Is Us. That is like... Mine and my husband's favorite show right now on TV. We have not got on the, I think it's called Tiger King. We have not got on that bandwagon, not just yet. We want to let the hype die down before we actually watch it. So let me know what are some shows that you all like to watch on TV. And I'm more of a classic movie or classic TV type of girl so I will watch I Love Lucy like that is still my jam I used to watch that all the time as a little girl mm. let's see I might go in with some blue because that is kind of bothering me a little bit how that shape is just not doing it for me and maybe I need to go in just like this oh yeah that is much better that is exactly what I needed to go in and make it just curvy right there I was trying to have like the curves kind of go in but you know that wasn't working it's fine okay so here we have the base color now we're about to get a little bit funky. We're gonna mix some more colors in there. Um, I'm not gonna clean out my brush at all. I am going to start blending colors together. So I'm going to start off with white. Probably up the, closer toward the top. Then go in with some orange, then go in with some red. Or you can do it by starting off with red orange then white and actually I might do that instead so let's just do red. I changed my mind a lot and trust me I did take notes on how I painted this I just like to change my mind a lot so I'm gonna go in with some red first okay and remember I'm just following the curve of the guitar how this red and yellow just mixed together and know that when you are using paint and I'm using acrylic paint I actually did not tell you all that um, I am using acrylic paint by the way if you have temper paint at home you can use that as well but at most stores and most people would have acrylic paint but acrylic paint dries very, very quickly. So it's just tempera. Tempera paint, it's just a chalky paint. I like to call it classroom paint. I use that a lot in my classrooms. And it has its place in the world. But I love acrylic because it's fast drying. 
you're not waiting 30 years and five days for a painting to be finished. By the way, I like to over exaggerate my time frames <laughs> by a lot. 30 years and five days, gosh, that's a long time. Okay, so notice I'm kind of making like a curve line so it looks like you have like this ombre effect going on so i'm going to get some orange now just a tad bit of orange you don't need a lot and i'm just going to paint this next area orange and remember i'm not cleaning out my brush because i'm blending these colors you can paint your guitar whatever color you like so if you want it to have like a um, a warm color background actually you can do a warm color background with red orange and yellow and then you can do a cool color guitar I think that would look pretty cool I actually should have done that for my example but it will Just looking really really good uh, and remember if you get a little bit too paint happy just go back and fix it or when I, when I say paint happy that means if you are painting a lot like you have a lot of paint on your brush and it's just going too crazy you need to just stop for a second let your painting dry before it just goes too crazy we don't want it to look too crazy looking okay but it's fine if you do it's it's completely fine but we want to have fun we want to have a successful painting though and that's what I'm here to just help you build your confidence so try not to get too paint happy where you're just adding too much paint all over the place little bit more orange and now so I'm just adding a little bit of color at a time not a lot not a lot now neat idea you can add glitter to your paint or what I like to use is called iridescent medium and you can add that to your paint or just have it on the side and you can make your painting look like it's shimmering so if you ever seen the guitars that have tons of glitter on it, especially like, I feel like that's an 80s thing, then totally, if you have glitter, get out the glitter. I don't have glitter. I have, like I said, I have iridescent medium, so that would work for me. Okay. And now I'm going to add white. And notice it's kind of changing my colors a little bit. Almost looks like a peachy color, but I love that yellow undertone. I just love that. And that's what I'm wanting. That's how I started off with yellow first. I want it, that yellow undertone. that sound that was just me hitting my tripod over here I am clumsy I am known to be clumsy so you know watch out <laughs> and remember you don't want to overload your brush too much because especially if you are set up like I am you don't want to get paint and then it drop on your canvas that is the worst thing to happen especially when you are so close to being finished you're just like no but guess what? Remember, it's paint. You can fix it. It's not the end of the world. Never the end of the world. Okay. And now I'm just going to go in with that white mixture. And I'm just going to keep on blending it out. And I hope you all are seeing this ombre effect that I'm making now. You're like, what is she doing? I don't know if I see it, not yet, but she, she's going to make it happen. We're 
like Tim Gunn says, if you ever watch Project Runway, we're going to make it work. Make it work. And so I'm just going in a little bit more. Like I said, don't get too paint happy when you are doing this. I'm just wanting to brighten up some areas. I'm not even going with a tad bit of yellow. Like I said, make this yours. Don't make it mine. Make it yours. If you make a mistake, you might need to step away. Or just own it. Own that this is a mistake. Or, hey, maybe it's not a mistake. Maybe you just wanted it to be that way. Own what you have. Be proud of what you do. Be so proud of yourself. Be proud that you are in the moment right now just painting. You're painting along. You have a friend in me. You got a friend in me. You got a friend in me that's cheering you on along the way. And you're going to just do awesome with this painting. I'm loving the way this is turning out. I'm loving the colors blending and mixing together oh, looks like fire I love it I'm loving it now remember when you are painting just do one color at a time going back and forth back and forth if you don't feel comfortable with blending colors like I am and you want to clean your brush off every single time you go ahead and do it what feels good if you ever watch yoga with Adrian she's always saying find what feels good find what feels right for you in your painting I did get a little bit paint happy I got some red in there but remember it's okay not the end of the world perfection and obviously nothing is perfect there we go I think I am satisfied maybe maybe not sometimes I change my mind am I really satisfied is life supposed to be like this is this guitar really supposed to be like this I'm sorry for rambling. If you do not want to listen to this, please turn your music up. I'm just trying to pass the time right now. And please show me pictures of your artwork, especially if you add glitter. Now, as an art teacher, elementary students I am not a glitter person we know if we give glitter to a kindergarten student I don't know if that's gonna go so well but the idea of glitter I don't mind it just not in a classroom full of like 20 or 30 kids I don't know if I can handle glitter don't know if I can handle it guitar I'm getting oh no that blue's trying to show up on me again mm -mm. no don't you come around blue See, here I go again. 
and this is why I like to teach classes in person because I will go back and <laughs> just work and overwork and rework stuff until I am satisfied until I'm happy I think I'm at a good place so I'm gonna stop right here and I'm going to let this dry you go back to your TV show you go back to your dance party and I will be back in just a little bit we are going to add extra details to the guitar after this dries so I'll see you back in just a bit Hey everyone, we are back. So now we are going to add a couple more details to our guitar. So when we do that, we are gonna be using some brown paint, okay? And so when we use brown paint, we are gonna be using our filbert brush right here, okay? So when we use our filbert brush, we are going to just get a little bit of brown, just a little bit of brown, and we are going to create the circle that you can find in the guitar. So probably right around here, I'm just gonna make a circle. Just like that. And remember, it doesn't have to look perfect. And then I'm just gonna get a little bit more brown paint. And then I'm just gonna paint that area in, okay? Very simple, very easy. like that okay now after we finish that part we are going to add a little bit more details we're going to add the fret right here the guitar so we're just going to make a nice straight line and it's going to be a diagonal line so right around this area right here and then we're going to start at the top and we're going to work our way just part of the way guitar I'm gonna do the same to the other side okay so we have that easy so far I hope so <laughs> okay next we're just going to paint in this whole area brown and oh I forgot to close off my rectangle right here and then I'm just gonna paint in that whole area brown right here And then once we are finished with this step, we are going to let it dry probably one last time. I think this will be our last time drying it. Don't quote me on that. Don't hold me to that. But I believe if I can remember painting, this will be our very last time drying it. And then all we're going to do is just add little bitty details and then we are finished we are ready to rock and roll okay remember this part doesn't have to look perfect at all okay there you go so i'll meet you back in a few more minutes and we will finish this guitar off okay everyone we are back and now we're gonna just finish up the last few details of this painting. So let's get started. We are gonna be using black and we are gonna be using white in order to finish off this painting. So I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of black and we're going to create, I believe this is called the bridge. Please know that I am not a musician. Well, I am, but I'm just not a guitar player. I do play clarinet played that for about 10 years so I am a musician just guitar was not my instrument by the way if you do play guitar please let me know because I would love to learn how to play guitar also if there is an instrument that you know how to play that's not the guitar please let us know love to see what everyone else can do so I've just realized I didn't even tell you what I'm making but I'm making a rectangle shape okay and so after I finish the rectangle shape and by the way and I forget to tell you all about this again I'm using a detailer brush okay 
So this is or a liner brush, okay? So when you use the liner brush, you're just going to use it for your small details. So that's why I call it like a detailer brush. So I'm gonna take it and just paint any small details that I like. And you can obviously go in with a bigger brush in this area. This is the only, I guess, bigger area that we are going to be using in order to paint with the small brush. So, almost finished. Okay. And we are going to let this dry for a second make sure that you do not apply a thick amount of paint okay because if you do eh, you're just gonna be waiting a while for it to dry okay and now I'm gonna go in and add some more details so now I'm gonna go where the neck of the guitarist so right in here and I'm going to add some details to that so I'm going to outline it so I'm going to lightly take my brush and I'm just lightly very lightly touching the canvas and it's just creating a mark I don't want to have a harsh outline okay because I want this to look very expressive I want to go in and make one on the other side And to brighten this up a little bit, we will be going with some white very, very, very soon. But we're going to let this dry for a second. I'm going to add some right here. Next, we are going to go in with our brush and we're going to add the frets. And I'm lightly taking my brush and just running it across. Now, I know that there is an actual number of frets. I can't tell you how many. However, add as many as you like. Just don't make your frets super close to each other. Because we actually do still want it to look like a guitar. And notice, whenever I paint it, my lines aren't going all the way across. Like I said, we want this to look very expressive. So now, I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to outline the edge of the guitar just like this remember very very lightly just take your brush and just stroke it across okay you're barely touching the canvas right here I actually like how that yellow halo is showing. You're gonna do the same thing around the sound hole or your circle. And I did have to look up guitar anatomy because I totally forgot. I did take guitar class whenever I was in college just to kinda know just a little bit about it, but Obviously, obviously that didn't take. And now I'm going to add a couple more expression lines. Some right here. Maybe one right there. Some around here. And notice I'm following the curves of the guitar. I'm not just making random lines everywhere. Following the guitar. The guitar is telling me what it wants. So I can add one right there. And then add one around the bridge. And I think I'm going to go back over that just a tad bit. I think we are finished with the black. And in just a second, we'll let this dry for just a little bit. Not for too long. You don't even have to put this under a dryer or your box fan or outside, whatever you like. But we're just going to let this dry for just a second, air it out, get some exercise in, and I'll meet you back. And we are going to clean off our brush 
this next time and we are going to add white. Okay everyone, let's finish this guitar. So all we're going to do now, we're going to take our white and we're going to still use this same brush, but I did clean it off. So yes, it does look a little bit dirty, but for sure it is cleaned off. And make sure whenever you are cleaning off your brushes that you use soap and water to just clean it out and that will do the trick. So you're going to make sure that you get just a little bit of white at a time. You do not want to overload your brush at all. Actually, I didn't get any white at all on that first try. Let's try it again. Okay, so just a little bit of white. And this time we are going to outline the guitar with white. So we're just loosely taking our brush and adding those expression marks. So little bitty lines of white. Just like that not be a thick harsh line that you have remember it doesn't have to be perfect we're not making straight lines here we're just making expressive lines now if you want to make yours a straight line that is completely fine okay and now I'm gonna take my white I'm gonna outline part of the guitar right here. There we go. And I just feel like adding just a little bit of white just for like the highlights, it just really makes a painting just pop. It really makes it come to life. And that's what I love about adding white, especially toward the very end of my painting. So I usually save white for last or at least the final details. So now I'm gonna go around the sound, uh, the sound hole, not soundboard. And I'm just going to add some more expression marks. And we're barely painting right here. I'm gonna add some around the soundboard just to make it pop out a little bit more. If you need to make any crazy sounds, just think about Bob Ross. He's always making sounds whenever he makes his trees. So just add any sound effects. I know whenever I add sound effects, it really does make a difference. It helps me out. I don't know how or why. It just does. This is really coming to life now. I can see it. Okay, now I'm gonna add the dots. So when we paint the guitar, it usually on an acoustic guitar, I believe it has six strings. So it's gonna have six little dots right here. Two, three, make sure they're equally spaced out. Four, five, Six. I think on my example I did seven but I really wasn't paying attention and it was probably late at night when I was doing this so oh well and I'm gonna lightly paint around the bridge like that there we go and so I believe lastly the only thing we have to do is just add some strings and we are finished. So we are just gonna take our white just a little bit, just a tiny tidbit. And I'm gonna start from this string right here. And I'm just gonna wipe very lightly. Very, very lightly paint on a string. And it doesn't have to look perfect, you guys. It really doesn't. And notice I'm barely dipping my brush inside of the paint like I don't want hardly any right here because I want it to still look like my strings are invisible like you can barely see it that's whenever you look at a guitar you can barely see the strings so 
so cute. Mess up on this part. Not by too much, but if you if your lines don't look correct, as long as you lightly do it, it should still look fun. Almost finished. I'm stretch here, you guys. We're almost finished. I'm so excited. Don't you love it? when you get towards the end of a painting or even like a race it, it's like a race it's like you can see the end result you're almost there and I want to say if you stuck with me for this long I'm very proud of you you are doing your ultimate best right now and I'm so proud of you part I do want to add maybe just a little bit of black right here and I'm not cleaning up my brush for this part I'm just gonna add some black lines right here just to frame out that area and I believe I'm finished this looks great so let's give each other a high five pound it there you go. We did it. I'm so proud of you. And I cannot wait to see some of your pictures. So please um, share them with everyone so that we can see this. Post me a picture. I would love to see this. And if you want to add anything else, like some music notes to the background, you can do that as well. If you are ambitious, you want to add a person playing the guitar in the background, you could do that as well. If you want to make a scenery, maybe you have some grass right here. Maybe this is your sky. However you wanted to do, do this. So this is your artwork, but this is just the basics of how to paint a guitar. So it wasn't hard breathe you did it and i'm proud of you and i can't wait to see you all next time with another painting tutorial thank you all for getting artsy with nicole rich i'll see you all next time bye